Welcome to the Big B Show. I'm your host, Big B. Uh, there's a few things that happened uh, this past month. First of all, I want to start out by apologizing. I got SD and all you other baseball fans out there. I said baseball was dead uh, on the last episode, but might have came back to life. At least got I got a post now. At least I won't go too far. Maybe it got a post now because the home run derby got me back interested in baseball a little bit. You know, Sano kicked it off hitting 11 home runs in the first round. 11. Wow. And they're using the psychedelic balls here for the extra time. I mean, what are we throwing right now? And then um, Bellinger, he went to OT to get to the second round. Seven seconds. Oh, he did it. He got it. He did oh. it with five seconds to go. Lock it out. And a. Become the back-to-back -back title, I mean champion, but... Sanchez uh, knocked him out, but you know, we tried to come back. He got up to 15. He lost by two. Wow! That ball might get out the center. Definitely out the center. Oh. There's oh, one! Yeah. You gotta Thank throw you it! Go! It. No! Oh. No! He will not do it! That pop up! And then uh, Burrow, he had, like 22 uh, home runs. Line shot! Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. This guy is a fucking monster, man. 6'7, 280. LeBron James of baseball, man. Uh -oh. Oh. Climbs through the roof and out of the yard. And more, right? What just happened? I thought he already had it. Unless they didn't count the roof one. Needed 24 to get the, to the next round, and it was just all the breeze for him after that. What do you think the chances are that, that you survive in advance? Negative 12. <laughs> oh, there it is. I fixed Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, oh, my God. God. Okay. Wait a minute. If it hits the roof, it doesn't count. Oh, oh wow. wow. Five, five. Bring it. There it is. Ladies and oh, gentlemen. Drop the bat. Aaron Judge, your 2017 home run with the deal. champion. <laughs> and he made it look easy. Look at Danilo. Oh, man. Here's a chief baseball officer for Major League Baseball, Joe Torre. Well, I'll tell you, Aaron, that's quite a show. You use every bit of the ballpark. Congratulations. Well-earned honor right here. Nice going. So, uh, now I'm uh... I'm back a fan. I'm still a Sox fan, but I might be watching the Yankees because they got Sanchez and the Judge. They both hitting home runs out of the park. But uh, like, I, like I said, I like to apologize to all the baseball fans out there. And uh, especially the U.S. My, my bad. Then uh, the ESPYs. SD, ESPYs. A uh, nice little transition. You like that? And uh, Peyton Manning hosted. I thought he did a great job. He had uh, great jokes. Whoever wrote his jokes was, was amazing. And he he pulled it off. Welcome to the SP Awards. I'm your host, Peyton Manning. And uh, tonight, I am honored to be following in the footsteps of all the other great SP hosts. Timeless icons like Jimmy Smits, Jeff Foxworthy, <laughs> and of course, who's the boss is Tony Danza. <laughs> the only difference between me and those other guys, I knew when to retire. Tonight's anniversary show is going to be different because the ESPY Awards are being hosted by a former athlete. Yep, the ESPYs finally got it right this year because normally some comedian or entertainer or Matthew Perry comes up here and just tears the athletes to shreds. Okay, okay, I know what some of y'all are thinking, right? John Cena hosted the ESPYs last year and he's an athlete. Yeah. John Cena is an athlete the same way that Ryan Lochte is a reliable witness. Okay. It's just... It's just not an accurate statement, right? Phelps, am I right? I'm right. Yeah. Thank you, Phelps. Yeah. Unfortunately, my brother Eli can't be here tonight because that's what I told the folks at the door. I'm not going to rip on any of you guys, okay? I mean, these SP folks, they wanted me to say all this stuff to mock athletes and coaches. I said, no, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. And here are a few of the jokes that I hated the most. 
because I would never say these, ever, like this one. Last year's LA Rams are the subject of the critically acclaimed docu-series All or Nothing. Spoiler, it's nothing. <laughs> and I love that Serena Williams won the Australian Open while carrying a child. I mean, that's even more impressive than two years ago when the Denver Broncos defense won the Super Bowl while carrying me. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I'm not an idiot, all right? I'm aware of these things. Okay, Von Miller, thanks again, pal. I owe you. Yeah. And finally, because I'm being forced to say it, I love that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick won their fifth Super Bowl. Enough of that crap. All right, the Falcons will be back. And I want the Falcons to hear that from me now, at the beginning of the show, because I know they'll stop paying attention three quarters of the way in. It's just, uh... It's just kind of what they seem to do. Devontae Freeman, don't leave yet. Stay with me. There's a lot of show left. And, uh, Katie, lighten up, man. It was just a joke, man. Even your mom's was laughing, man. You need, to, you need to lighten up. But uh, he did good with the monologue, even his little skits when he went to the retirement home. The number one goal here at Sunset Acres Village is to bring a little joy and laughter when you're put out to pasture. Well, Mr. Manning, thank you for getting up this morning. A lot of our people don't. Dinner tonight is at 3.30. I hope that's not too late. That, that, that works. OK, that works. excellent. Good to see you again, Steve. Steve lives in there. He's a racist. I've retired, OK? And therefore, I live in a retirement home. Why is that weird? For the win. Woo, yes, sir. You like that, Ruth? Do you like that? You know what it's called? It's called winning. It's called being a champion. Here's Peyton and Ruth working so nicely together. Well, Peyton, you made a chocolate chip pancake. No, no, no. Real pasta, it's a football. It's got my number, see the laces? Eh. Oh, Ruth, that's exquisite. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Like on any team, you're not gonna get along with all your teammates. And there's something about that Ruth that I just don't like. Probably that she's a front-running old bag. It looks like someone dropped a big purple deuce right in front of her, and she's touching it right now. Damn it. Who took all the good coupons? I gotta pay full retail now, like a two-bit chump. Peyton, what's the right word? Not expecting much out of you, Ruth. You're my nightmare. He's a is what he is. Nope, I don't think so. Hi, Tom Tom. Hi, Gam Gam, how are you? Brady, I knew it. I knew there was something about you, Ruth. Hey, what's up, Peyton? Hey, Tom, what's up? Grandma, I used to play football with Peyton. <gasps> oh, isn't that wonderful? Did you win five Super Bowls, too? <laughs> Shut up, Ruth. <laughs> that, that was funny, and then the, the last game when he watched the, the Super Bowl. <laughs> and of course, he's going against the Peyton. I mean, going against uh, the Patriots, the GOAT. You know who the GOAT is. Everybody knows who the GOAT is. Tom Brady. And, uh... He's watching the Super Bowl and his reactions to that. I'm just hoping for some clean, competitive football. I don't even have a dog in this fight. And there he is again. Jones backs out of bounds. First down. Woo! The Falcons rise up. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Might need some Addy Ice. I believe 28 to 3. You know, it's tough winning the Super Bowl in the twilight of your career, though. Only the greats can pull it off. Again. Toss the white. He's in. What? Go Falcons. Coach, coach at uh, Ole Miss, well, the former coach at Ole Miss. Hey, it's one thing to get uh, escorts for the players. You know, we all seen uh, he got game. So, you know, I like to introduce you to assistant coaches. We know how, we know how that work. But, dog, how you get caught? And you got caught by what you was using the phone at the school? Like, like how stupid are you? are a college coach. Like, how stupid are you, man, to get caught by using their phone? You can at least use a cell phone. Like, come on. And then... We're gonna, we're gonna stay with, with football. And uh, Dallas Cowboys, man. How you cut this guy? It wasn't even him, man. It wasn't me. It wasn't him, dog. You still cut him, even though it wasn't him who got uh, Lucky Whitehead that cut from the Cowboys because it's mistaken identity about him uh, 
stealing from the store or something like that. And you got still cut them after that. And then after the fact, you couldn't even look up to it and be like, well, we're going to cut them anyways. Come on, man. We them boys. That's why y'all lose every year. Y'all do some dumb shit like that. And uh, we're going to close it up with uh, Big Baller Brand. Boy, balled out, man. I always hate on him after the first game. You know, he's trying, he didn't shoot too well. Then he had like two points or five points or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't good. Then he got a triple double. Then he got another triple double. Then he had 36. And he almost had to over that game. Got the MVP. The Lakers won the, uh, the championship in the Summer League. Stop hating on the ball, man. Stop hating on him, man. It's his pops. It's not him, man. He's a good kid. He's a good player. Jason Kidd, Matty Johnson, 2.0. So y'all better, better stay ready for him, man. Because he coming. Big ball of brand. Next time you see me, I'll probably have a big ball of brand straight on, man. Because we support him. But that's it for right now, man. We got a guest today, JC. So uh, tune in and welcome to the show.